more adding and subtracting with fractions, okay? So, uh, for instance, let's look at 1 over 5 plus 3 over 5 equals. Whenever I'm adding or subtracting with fractions, what has to be the same? The denominator, the bottom has to be the same. Yeah, because then only then I can um, compare my slices of pizza, uh, as I've shown you in the previous video. Now, in this case, they are the same. Well, that's fantastic. So the 5 stays a 5, and how many fifths do I have? Well, I have 1 fifth and 3 fifths, so I have 4 fifths, 4 over 5. Okay? But what happens if I have, for instance, 1, uh, what shall we do? 1 over 2 plus, well, let's do 1 over 8. I have a half and 1 over 8, and how much does that equal to? Now, that doesn't equal to 2 over 10, as some of you might uh, would like to say, uh, because I've shown you in the video why, in yeah, the previous video. Now, let's, let's, let's roll pizza. What shall we do? Pizza pepperoni. All right. Now, first, I have half of the pizza, okay? So I eat half of the pizza. And then I'm still hungry and I eat 1 over 8 of a pizza. And that is that, roughly 1 over 8. So how much did I eat? Which part of the pizza did I eat? Now, what do you have to do in these cases? You have to make those denominators the same. You have to manipulate them. You have to find the equivalent fraction of 1 over 2 and of 1 over 8. So those denominators are the same. Because if I if I change everything into one over eight, yeah, let's divide the whole pizza into eight equal slices. Do I have eight equal slices now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. eight equal slices. So how many of those slices did I eat? I had one of those, another one, another one, another one, and another one. I had one, two, three, four. Five of those slices. I had five eighths of my pizza. And why is that? Because one over two, the equivalent fraction over eight, two times four, indeed, so equivalent, uh, equal four over eight. One times four plus one over eight. Now those denominators are the same. So the answer equals, therefore, how many eights do I have? Uh, the eight stays eight. I have four plus another one, so five eights. One, two, three, four, five, as you can see. Okay, so denominators have to be the same, and I'll show you in the next video how to do that without drawing a pizza every time. Yeah, because that just makes me hungry. I'll see you there.